Hello everyone, I am your host Ayushi Kara Setia and welcome back to our channel Pabli. In this video we are going to learn how you can transfer files from one Google Drive folder to another automatically. So let's take an example that you are a business owner and you are using an e-commerce platform to sell your various products digitally. So you are having herbal products, food products, cosmetic products and many other different types of products. Now you want that wherever you upload an image or a new file into your Google Drive folder, uh, the same file should be transferred to a specific folder. It means if you are uploading a herbal product image into your Google Drive folder, automatically the same image should get transferred to your specific herbal products uh, folder. For this, we need to create a connection between Google Drive and different folders so that whenever the image is uploaded, it is automatically get transferred into this specific folder. For this, we are going to use a software application named Pavli Connect. So basically, Pavli Connect is an automation and integration software which will help us in transferring the files from one Google Drive folder to another and that too automatically. The best part here is it doesn't require any coding skills or programming knowledge. Even a non-technical person can use this software application very easily. So let us learn the integration process now on my screen. So welcome back to my screen. Here let us type P-A-B-B-L-Y Pavli.com in our browser. This is the website of Pavli. Here we have to come to products and click on Pavli Connect. This is the landing page of Pavli Connect. As you are the first time user, you have to click on sign up for free option and you can create your own account in just 2 minutes. And you are going to get 100 tasks free every month. As I already have an account with Pavli Connect, I will simply click on sign in. In the all apps section, come to Pavli Connect and click on access now. This is the dashboard of Public Connect. Here we have to create a workflow. For that come to this plus sign and click on create workflow. Now here we have to give a name to the workflow. So let us give the name as transfer, transfer files from one Google Drive folder to another. Here you can give the workflow name as per your requirement and simply click on create. Now we can see a trigger window and an action window. So Pabli Connect works on the concept of trigger and action. Trigger means when this happens, action means do this. So in this use case, we want that whenever you upload a new file into your specific Google Drive folder, the same file should get transferred to another folder inside the same account. So open this trigger application and choose the application, sorry, open this trigger window and choose the application name as Google Drive. Select the trigger event as new file in a specific folder. Click on connect. Click on add new connection and click on connect with Google Drive. Now here it is asking me to choose an account to continue to Pabli Connect Drive. So I am just choosing my account. Now as I am already logged into my Google account, it is asking Pabli Connect Drive wants additional access to your Google account. So let's click on continue and give away the access as the data is 100% safe with Pabli Connect. Authorization successful. And now the Google Drive is connected to Pabli Connect. Now here as we have created a connection, here we can find all the Google Drive folders that we have created in our account. Okay. So I'll just take you to my Google Drive folders over here. So this is the folder named all products images. So I want that whenever I upload a new image in this particular folder, the same image should get transferred to some different other specific folders. So we have to select the same folder name over here in Pabli Connect that is all products images. Now before clicking on save and send test request, first I am going to upload a new image in this particular folder. So let's click on this plus sign new and click on file upload. And here I am just going to sub, uh, upload this herbal tea image. Okay, the image is getting uploaded over here. And here we can find that the herbal tea image is uploaded. Now let's move back to public connect. And now we are going to click on save and send test request. 
Okay, and here we can see the responses received and all the details related to the image are captured over here. Okay, here we can find the title as herbal tea. And when we scroll down, here we can find all the other details like the created date and time and other details. And here we have got the ID also. So now we want to change the location of this particular file. It is in my Google Drive folder named All Product Images. So here I have already created some folders named Herbal Product Images, Cosmetic Product Images. So I want to segregate the images according to the names. Okay. So I want this Herbal Tea image to be uploaded in the Herbal Product Images. Okay. For that, we are going to apply the router over here so that the herbal image should go into the herbal product image folder. Cosmetic image should go into this particular cosmetic product images folder. And in this way, if you want to uh, create some more folders and want the images to get uploaded in some other folders, we can use the routers. So let's scroll down and come to the action step. Here we have to select the application name as routers. Now here we are going to set the routes. For that, I'm just going to delete this extra step from here, okay? And we are going to just rename this root 1. So, as I'm just creating two roots over here, let us rename this root 1 as herbal images. Let's click on update. Now, we are going to set the action and filter and action steps for this particular root. Let's click on this button that is set filter and action steps. Now, here we are going to select the label as the file name of the image okay let us find the file name as herbal tea okay so if this particular file name contains the word herbal then what needs to be done so we are just setting the if condition over here let's click on save and send test request so the status is success message condition is true just because the file name do have a herbal word in this particular file name because the file name is herbal tea. So this condition is true. So now we want to just move the location of the file for that click on this plus sign. Choose the application name as Google Drive itself. Now here we have to select the action event as move a file. Click on connect. Now as we have recently created a connection, we are going to select the existing connection and click on save. Now here we have to give the file. Choose a file that needs to be moved. For that I will just click on this mapping button. I will remove this data. Come to Google Drive folder and here we have got the file ID, the product file ID. So we are going to just map this particular ID. Okay. Now here we have to give the location where do we want to send this particular file. Here we can see the instruction as destination folder where the file has to move into or you can directly map or enter the folder ID over here. Okay, so I'll just click on this mapping button. I'll just remove this data and let's move to the Google Drive folder. So I want this uh, file to get uploaded in the herbal product images. I am just going to open the folder. And from here, we can find the folder ID from the URL. So I'll just copy it and I'll be adding the folder ID over here. Okay. And now let's click on save and send test request. Okay. And here we can see the response is received. It means the herbal tea images moved from the all product images to herbal product images folder. Okay. And here we can find the image uploaded into herbal product images and now let us check our all product images also and here we can see that this particular folder is empty now so the image is moved now we are going to set the second condition okay for that just click on this done again we are going to copy this root okay for that we have a shortcut over here click on this three dots and click on clone step do you want to clone this particular root so make sure you have saved the root before cloning so we have saved the root let's click on clone so cloning is going to copy the root and all its filter and action steps over here. So let's rename this root by clicking on these three dots. Click on rename and let us give the name as cosmetic images. And let's click on update. Now here we are going to just set the filter and action steps. 
Now let us come to the filter if condition. If the file name contains cosmetics, so we are going to just make simple changes over here. So if the file name contains cosmetic word, then this particular workflow should go, should run. Let's click on save and send test request. And this time we are going to receive a negative response. It means the condition will be false just because in our file name the word herbal is there. Okay, but in the real time it will work correctly. Okay, now we are going to just move the file to a specific location. And now instead of this particular folder, we are going to just give a separate folder name, a folder ID. For that, we have to get the folder ID from our Google Drive. And this is the cosmetic product images folder. And let us copy this folder ID and we have to paste the same folder ID over here. Okay, and let's click on save. Data saved successfully. Okay, and now let's click on done. So we have set both the conditions that if the image name contains herbal word, then the image should get transferred to the herbal images folder. And if the product or the file name contains cosmetic word, then it should be get transferred to the cosmetic folder image. Okay. Now let us check this in the real time. For that, I'll just going to upload some images in my all drive, uh, all products folder over here. Let us upload the image. And this time we are going to upload the image that is uh, cosmetic CC cream. Okay, and here we can see that it is pro uh, uploaded into all product images. Now we are going to just refresh it. And after refreshing, we can see that the image is not there in this particular folder, all products images. So let us check our cosmetic product folder. So let us open it. Okay, and here we can find that this particular image is transferred into the cosmetic product images folder. Now let us check it once again. And we are going to upload some more images in all product images. So let us select some other images from my system. And this time I'm just going to select this cosmetic foundation image. Let us refresh it once again. Okay, and now we can see that the image is missing. Now let us check our cosmetic folder once again. And here we can see that the same foundation image is transferred into the cosmetic product images. Now let's move back to our all products images. Okay, and here we are going to upload one more image. We are just testing it. Let us upload this herbal shampoo image. So image is uploaded over here. Now let us refresh this account. Okay, and within some seconds, we can see that the image is not there. Now we are going to check our herbal product images folder. Okay, and here we can see that the herbal shampoo image is saved in this particular folder. So in this way, we can see that our integration is perfectly working fine. So let's move back to public connect and I'll just minimize all these windows and let us see in a nutshell whatever we have done till now. So first we have created an integration between Google Drive and Public Connect. Then Public Connect has captured all the details or the file details that you have uploaded into your Google Drive folder. And then we have applied the routers over here that if the file name contains a specific word, it should get transferred to a specific folder in our Google Drive. So in this way, we have created a successful integration using Public Connect. So not just these software applications, you can integrate a ton of applications and automate your business using Pabli Connect. In case of any queries, you can visit our Pabli forum. To check the pricing details of Pabli Connect, you can visit this particular URL. Also the link of Pabli Connect and this workflow is available in the description box. You can clone the same workflow into your account directly. If you really like this video, please comment, share and subscribe. Thank you everyone.